Today in this lecture we are going to discuss the role of renin angiotensin system in maintaining the normal arterial pressure despite wide variations in salt intake. How basically the renin angiotensin system helps a person to increase or decrease the intake of salt and at the same time maintain normal arterial pressure. Now basically we are discussing the role of kidney in long term regulation of arterial pressure and we have discussed different mechanisms or different methods through which the kidney regulate the arterial pressure. Now one method used by the kidney through regulate to regulate the arterial pressure was the fluid volume mechanism that kidney maintain the arterial pressure with the help of maintenance of uh, volume of the fluid in the body. A second mechanism used by the kidney is the renin angiotensin system and with the help of renin angiotensin system the kidney helps in the regulation of arterial pressure. Now one important uh, characteristic of the renin angiotensin system is that it allows a person or the human to, to increase or decrease the intake of salt and at the same time help or at the same time keep normal arterial pressure. Now how the renin angiotensin helps in maintenance of normal arterial pressure despite of the variation in salt intake. Now let's for example a person increase the intake of salt. Increase the intake of salt. Increase in intake of salt will lead to increase fluid volume. Increase fluid volume in the body because salt in the body tries to retain the fluid try to salt basically retain the water and fluid so increase in salt intake basically leads to increased extracellular fluid volume increased extracellular fluid volume leads to increased arterial pressure the arterial pressure increased due to increased salt intake in increased arterial pressure it leads to increased blood flow through kidney so here comes the role of kidney in regulation of the arterial pressure when the fluid volume increase it increases the arterial pressure which increases the blood flow through the kidney when the blood flow through the kidney increases when the blood flow through the kidney increases the renin secreted from the kidney decreases decrease in the renin the renin which is normally secreted from the kidney it decreases when the intake of salt increase when the renin formation decreases it leads to it leads to decreased fluid volume because renin helps in the loss of it helps in the loss of salt and water in the form of urine so increase in salt increase in salt intake led to increase in the arterial pressure which ultimately led to Dec uh, decrease in the formation of renin and uh, decrease the fluid volume and decrease in fluid volume ultimately caused decreased arterial pressure so the arterial pressure that was increased by increased intake of salt has been decreased or maintained normal with the help of decreased release of renin now if the now if the intake of the salt increases if the salt intake sorry if the salt intake decreases if the salt intake decreases it will lead to decreased extracellular fluid the extracellular fluid retention will decrease because of decrease intake of salt this will lead to 
decreased arterial pressure it will lead to decreased arterial pressure decreased arterial pressure will lead to decreased blood flow through the kidney decreased blood flow through the kidney so here comes the role of kidney once again in the maintenance of arterial pressure and here comes the role of renin angiotensin system once again in maintaining the uh, normal arterial pressure uh, despite of uh, changes in the intake of salt so when salt intake decreases it ultimately leads to decreased blood flow through the kidneys which causes which causes an increase in the formation of renin renin formation decreased here due to increased salt intake but when the salt intake decreased the formation of renin increased now this renin formation will lead to increase retention of salt in water and it will ultimately increase the fluid volume the extra cellular fluid will increase with the help of increased formation of renin and increase in extra cellular fluid will ultimately lead to increased arterial pressure so basically with the help of renin angiotensin system the intake of salt can change it can increase or decrease but the arterial pressure will remain normal so it helps the person to uh, increase or decrease the intake of salt it allows variation in the intake of salt and at the same time allows to uh, normal or it uh, keeps the arterial pressure normal so basically the the purpose of the renin is to uh, convert angiotensinogen into angiotensin 2 and then angiotensin 2 basically when it increases it leads to uh, increased retention of fluid and salt but when it decreases it leads to uh, fluid loss from the body so that's how the uh, renin angiotensin system helps a person to maintain normal arterial pressure despite of wide variation in salt intake thanks a lot for watching the video